Well, breaking news tonight, council member Trayon White has been arrested. White represents Ward 8 in Southeast D.C., and he's known for being outspoken about violence around the district and in his community, even calling for the National Guard. Every day. Is there, does a day go by where a black politician doesn't get arrested or indicted or brought up on charges or investigated? Is there, does a day go by? It's that systemic racism getting them, man. I, I've been in the same place at the same time with this guy, man. He's so small. This guy could fit in your pocket. He's a teeny little guy, man. But he's the big man over there in Southeast. That's the worst area. It's Ward 8. That's the worst ward. That's the ward with all the baby mamas, all the projects, all the welfare. That's the worst ward in D.C. Well, breaking news tonight, council member Trayon White has been arrested. White represents Ward 8 in Southeast D.C., and he's known for being outspoken about violence around the district and in his community, even calling for the National Guard to step in at one point. Now, the council member has been working in the community since he was 17 years old. And tonight, we are working to learn more about what led to his arrest. Our Liana Golden is live at the FBI field office tonight. Liana, city leaders are being very tight-lipped about this. What do we know so far? Yeah, Carl, extremely. We know that White was taken into custody by the FBI. We're outside of their field office right now downtown. We know that arrest took place earlier in the afternoon around 2 o'clock. D.C. Council Chairman Phil Mendelson confirming that arrest to 7 News, but not really saying much else. And right now, the true nature of the possible charges and allegations brought against White still very, very unclear. We've got a lot of questions here. We don't know why he was taken into custody, really. We did contact the FBI, of course, as well as Metropolitan Police. We are still waiting for someone to get back to us for more information here. In the meantime, Chair Mendelson did send 7 News this statement on the recent development saying quote both public trust and integrity in elected officials is critically important we're trying to gather the facts at this time end quote so not diving too deep into the situation here but acknowledging that this is fresh and there is certainly plenty more to learn about what is at play here and why an elected official here in the district was taken in by federal authorities. Now, it is also important to note that this is really not the first time White has made headlines since being elected in 2016. Two years into his time in office, he went online and blamed a renowned Jewish baking family for controlling the weather. He later apologized for those comments only to face more scrutiny. <laughs> I remember when you did that, man. That was hysterical, man. Teen, two years into his time in office, he went online and blamed a renowned Jewish baking family for controlling the weather. He later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see he's turned it all around after his time in Oz Penitentiary. Yeah, facts. He got, um, he got, um, <laughs> Um, fisherman derangement syndrome, man. <laughs> yeah. A Jewish baking family controlling the weather, man. What the fuck, man? I remember when he said that shit, man, but it was... They don't control funny. the weather. They, they control the weather men. Yeah, that's true. Facts. That was that was hysterical, though, man. He, he did that shit, man. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> they control the weather, man. Jews get a Jews get a um they in a rough break, man. Come on, man. Like, can we go easy on the Jews for a little bit, man? They get um, a lot of credit. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> The only weather they control is if there's lead in the sky. They kind of control that. Yeah, facts. Bullet. They apologized for those That's comments only to face more scrutiny after leaving a tour of the Holocaust Museum early. Apparently, he disappeared, leaving his staff members to finish the experience. With <laughs> so they went on a tour of the Holocaust Museum. He, he dipped out. <laughs> He's the only city councilman with a booster seat. I'm telling you, man. This guy is funny, man. 
without him. Now, White was also named in an MPD investigation in 2019 when his car was involved in an alleged hit and run, but he claimed he wasn't behind the wheel. An MPD later on confirmed that information. So, of course, we have a lot of questions for the council member here and his staff. It's very likely that much more on this situation will develop tomorrow morning heading into the new week. So you'll want to stick with 7 News for all of those updates, both on air and online. For now he was tried as a teenager. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Had to go to juvie. It never stops, man. It never stops with these people, man. Good evening, I'm Sierra Fox. Tonight, we're continuing to follow that breaking news. Fox 5 has confirmed D.C. Council member Trayon White was arrested by the FBI. White represents Ward 8 in Southeast D.C. Fox 5's David Kaplan is live outside the Wilson Building in Northwest. And David, what have you been able to uncover so far? He represents yes, Ward yeah, 8 we've confirmed this through Council President Phil Mendelson. He confirmed to Fox 5 that Trayon White, who represents Ward 8 for the D.C. Council, was arrested by the FBI around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now, Mendelson tells Fox 5 that he did not have any knowledge that there was any sort of investigation into White. We also have to be clear off the top here that we don't know what these charges are or what the nature of these charges are. There's still a lot of questions swirling around this as this new News is broken late this afternoon. Fox 5 has reached out to the FBI. They are not commenting at this time. I spoke with another source who told me that they're trying to get additional details as well, but that the people that the source has reached out to for more information don't have any. Fox 5 also has calls into White's office as well. We have not heard back from them. White was just on Fox 5 two days ago talking with our Chad Ricardo about the needs of kids in Ward 8 Baby and the Wolfie. importance of good role models. As for Mendelssohn, in his office out with a statement saying, quote, both public trust and integrity in elected officials is critically important. We are trying to gather the facts at this time. And quote, White was first elected to the D.C. Council in 2016. So he has been serving since January of 2017. He also just recently this past June won his primary with ease, getting over 50 percent of the vote against two other opponents. So again, Sierra, lots of information that we don't have at this time. We have multiple inquiries out to multiple agencies, multiple people to try and learn more. We'll bring you the very latest starting at 10 o'clock tonight on Fox 5. Sierra. Uh so nobody knows anything, man. Let's see. The, the Ward 8 council members arrest happened earlier this afternoon. Witnesses tell WUSA 9 the FBI surrounded the area, went into an apartment complex on K Street in Navy Yard. Tonight, our Leslie Moreno has more on how this arrest all unfolded. The arrest happened here behind me at the 10 K Hill South Apartments in Navy Yard. Residents we spoke with say they saw those FBI okay. agents walk into the building. You can still see Ward 8 Council Member Trey on White's vehicle parked outside the complex. Chairman Phil Mendelson's office confirmed the arrest with WUSC 9. A spokesperson says Mendelssohn was not aware of an investigation and does not have any information on any charges. Residents we spoke with here say they saw several undercover detectives and they watched as they entered the building with long guns. Residents tell us FBI agents went up to the penthouse suite. Tonight, constituents say it's shocking and they want to know why their council member was arrested. Yeah, it definitely looked like it was something pretty serious. They had the block shut off for a good time, but this is not one of his constituents. <laughs> this is um Southwest, so this would be Ward Seven, I think, or maybe Ward Six. But he lives. I don't know why he lives here. He doesn't live in his ward. I don't know why he doesn't live in his ward, but whatever. This is where AOC lives. This is around the corner where um AOC lives. This is where that um Minnesota um. Congresswoman got um, assaulted um, by the Sun Man in the elevator. This is where a lot of like this is near National Nats Park, where the Nationals play. This is um, this is a you know neighborhood where a lot of politicians live. Yeah, it seemed like they had a good handle. We only saw really the second part of it. So, but yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff. It was very surprising because it's you know just an average Sunday and. Um, 
it was pretty wild to was see everybody though? in the in the lobby here and um it's usually pretty quiet so it was kind of a shock yeah but the sun man the sun man bring drama man <laughs> even if he is a city councilman um it's usually pretty quiet so it was kind of a shock it'll be uh interesting to read really what happened what the charges are going to be council member white was first elected to represent ward 8 in 2016. he is seeking a third term and just won the democratic primary in june according to our partners at the washington post white was fined forty thousand dollars by the dc office of campaign finance for failing to provide documentation to explain thousands of dollars of expenditures related to his 2020 re-election <laughs> that's him right there so so he so he's already been fined forty thousand dollars for mismanagement of funds maybe that's what it got to do with they came in there with long guns though shut down the whole complex and dragged this little dude out like that man <laughs> Thousands of dollars of expenditures related to his 2020 re-election bid and his 2022 mayoral run. The Post reports White appealed the fines related to his 2020 race, but the 2022 case is still outstanding. We did reach out to the council member's office and his campaign staff and have not heard back yet. A spokesperson for the FBI. So he won't Washington be speaking at the Democratic office, National Convention. Had no comment on. You never know, man. The story of triumph, man, and and, and re <laughs> resolve, man. He That's overcame, true. man. On the incident is for national Kim Kardashian, man. And she got the juicy ass. Yeah, so. is arrested. That is still unclear in Southeast DC. Les Moreno, WUSA nine. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. So. We don't know what happened.